is sure cut. Everybody up. Get off for us. Diese Show kann Shark Fortress. of this deck. I may not have mentioned it in the vid in the dual video part of this video, just because I'm trying some stuff with background music, and so far it seems that quite a few people actually like the way I'm doing it. But it does like get rid of the commentary for the most part, but let me know what you think. Um, as I said, this is a wind-up deck profile requested by Cyberhound2002, and I will show you the deck profile right now. I should note, I've been like with certain decks, I like I like the archetype, I like the deck in general, it's quite easy for me to build a deck, test it, maybe make a few changes. Certain decks are really difficult, like the new Atori OGK, um, Reversal Quiz I had quite a bit of trouble with making, Heretic and Stellar Hybrid took quite a long time. Um, Windups, I felt at, at the start that it would be quite simple to make, and really the base of the deck, it is simple. However, the cards to build around it, I really didn't know. So, like, as sort of inspiration, I guess, I looked at a couple of deck profiles of people and saw quite a lot of different cards used. So this is the, um, the deck I have right now, uh, main deck and extra deck-wise. But in the side deck, I'll explain a lot more options that you could consider. There's quite a lot uh, possible. Right, um, for the main part of the deck, you'd have three sharks, one magician, 
Um, they work very well together, getting Xyzes out. If you just normal summon Magician, then play Shark, then that summons Magician, and then you can uh, like possibly summon another Shark to do something, or summon a Rat. Lower Shark's uh, level, maybe then use Rat to summon something from the grave if you already have something there. Um, rabbit to evade things, you can also search it via Tanky. And because we have Tanky, also a Brotherhood of the Five for Spare, because I feel it's just very helpful with Tanky. It's not the focus of the deck, so I have it at one, but with Tanky, I'd say it's very helpful. I use it in Constellars as well at one. I have two Wind of Borier, because it's pretty good, and it can increase, um, like, attack, but generally you want it for the level increase. Sure, Shark does it as well, but Shark can only increase or decrease its own level. Wind of Warrior can choose any. It can choose its own, it can choose Magician, it can choose rat, uh, Rabbit or Rat to make him level 4 so you can exceed with Warrior. A lot of things possible. I personally chose for Card Cardi in this deck because I felt it could work, but I'll go over a lot more options. Um, Wind Up Factory really wants three of these. Uh, it's, it's once per turn, but that's a per card. If you have multiple cards, they can trigger um, and search for more things. Tanky already went over searches for a rabbit and bear. Lance, because I generally feel it's a nice card to have. Two mystical space typhoon, you could really just throw in a third. Um, because there's a couple of traps that really makes this deck meh. Like skill run. Not that you see it a lot these days, but you could. Hey. Mind control? Because this deck has um Rank 3, 4, and 5 options, as as you can see in the extra deck as well. Quite often when the opponent has a monster with a level on the field, it will be one of those. So, but let's say they have a level 3 and you only have a shark. Shark can still change his level to 3, or even to 5 to adapt that. And warrior can change another wind-up level, so that can be its own, it can be another monster level, to help Xyz um, with the opponent's monster, so they don't get it back. Soul Shark to get some monsters back. Pada Dichotomy, because there's quite a lot of different types. You have Fish, the Spellcaster, you have Beast, Warrior, you have Beast, you have Warrior, and you have Machine. So quite a lot of types, so one Dichotomy I felt good about. Right, Kiki to help with some destruction. Solemn Warning, Bottomless Trapple, Compulse, Torrential, and Vanities. Sort of a standard trap lineup. Uh, two Mirror Force, because Mirror Force is still very powerful. Ring of Destruction is seen quite often as well to help get rid of monsters. To trap stun because I felt it could work because I at this point really didn't know what to play anymore and I didn't want to go for three ops or goblin so I was like two trap stun maybe but I don't know so no right now I'm actually gonna take out upstart and throw in the MSD because I was thinking of doing that anyway this is one of those decks where even like after quite a bit of testing I still am not completely satisfied with the deck but I'm not really sure how to improve it so if there's anyone in the comments who really knows how to play windups or thinks they have a good suggestion or an idea just let me know and I'll like reply to it just and if you're looking for some extra improvements just read the comments of this video and hopefully you can uh, find some tips there um, in the extra deck we have Zen Mines we have uh, Zen Mines because it can help survive it has survivability I just like that and destruction as well Allo card to help destroy set cards Nightmare Shark because it can actually direct attack uh, directly attack uh, when you use its effect I have Cowboy, I have Emerald to shuffle some things back, to re be able to summon them again with Magician, to search for them again with Tanky, things like that. Excited tonight for Destruction, Direwolf. Um, generally, this card is used as a Kamikaze card. This deck like, actually has Beast Warriors in Bear and Rabbit. The most interesting thing is about Direwolf, it targets, but it destroys upon resolution. But because it says destroy them, and not destroy both of them, the word both isn't there, which means that if only one of the two targets is there upon resolution, that one target is still destroyed. And Direwolf can go for Beast, Beast Warrior, or Winged Beast. Rabbit is a Beast Warrior. So let's say you target your rabbits in the opponent's Blue Eyes White Dragon, then you can chain Rabbit's effect to that, have Rabbit be banished, therefore Rabbit's not on the field anymore, cannot be destroyed, Blue Eyes would still be destroyed and Rabbit would come back during your next standby phase, and you'd still have your Diamond Direwolf on the field. That's very nice to have. Castell 101 because it was really good. 50. Pretty good. <sighs> Shark Fortress because you can just make sure you get a lot of attacks in, which is very nice. Volcasaurus can help with OTKs, in a sense, in this deck. 
can just um, push for a lot of damage with its effects. And if then Xyz changes it into Gaia during the Thunder Charger, you still have your direct attack to go. Loads of damage in one turn. Then I have Wind of Arsenal Zen Mayo as an option. Help destroy set cards. I don't use it too often, but every now and then I will. And then Tyras, because it's, eh, it's nice defense. And defense is effect wise, I mean. Um, and it can help destroy something at the end of the battle phase as well. Options I've considered Trap Six Travel Nightmare, although really I barely use it, so. Only if you really want it, or the mana changes to a sense that it'd be amazingly useful. Um, Levia the Sea Dragon, so maybe if you banish Rabbit, you can immediately grab it back if you'd like to go with that. Uh, Photon Pappy Operative. Um, Rat switches the defense position with its effect. Um, Magician summons monster in defense position. Let's say Rat summons. Can Rat summon a rat? Yes. Magician can summon a rat. They can be summoned in defense position. Poppy Operative with its effects could just change one of your rats to attack position if they, and then if they haven't used its, their effects yet, they can then use it. One of Soldier is another option over Warrior. The thing is about Soldier is it can only increase its own level. It's slightly stronger, um, like if, especially with its attack boost, it will be. But Warrior can um, increase other monsters' levels, other windups' levels, and. Soldier cannot, so that's why I do prefer uh, Warrior. What you could do, by the way, is reinforcements of the army, like we have three tankies, if you run a couple of warriors, and maybe even a photon thrasher to help with Xyzes, you could run the reinforcements of the army, but meh, Th that is if you run it. Um, MX Saber Invoker, you could try that, especially if you run these. Warwolf and Striker to give you some synchro options, because it is possible to, let's say, run three Warwolf and a Striker. They can also search for each other, uh, Invoker can um, summon them, and then you can go into synchros like Goyo Guardian and Naturia Barkian, and especially Naturia Barkian, I'd say, is a very nice kind of have. Um, you probably do want to have um, Warrior or a Soldier in that case, because Striker is a level 2 tuner, so you'd want a level 4 monster, and Barkian also requires the non tuner to be earthed, so Soldier Warrior will be very nice to have for that. Um, Thrasher already mentioned, uh, Mech Whipped Engineer. You could go for it. I don't really like it, but I've seen a few people do it. Uh, Heartland Draco, you'll have quite a few uh, continuous spells. Wing Wind of Factory and Fire Formation Tank, you'll have them up quite often, making this card not able to be targeted for attacks, which could work out. Generally, I do like to use it for direct attacks, just like a Nightmare Shark. Number 12, Crimson Shadow Armor Ninja is a very nice card to have as well for rank 5. Recently added it to Mech and Stellars again because I just felt like, why did I not have this before? Because it can just stop itself from being destroyed by battle or by card effects, and any card that can do that, I generally really like. Especially if it's generic and quite easy to summon. This two level 5s is it's not that hard. And then if you happen to have 37, 38, or 39 cards, you could just throw in an upstart goblin to fill the gaps. Right, that was the deck profile for Windups uh, Cyberhound 2002. Hope you liked it. If you have any suggestions, comments, um, anything like that, please post them in the comments below and I'll respond to that. And I'll see you in the next video tomorrow. Bye.